Um, you mentioned the Abington versus Shem case. The full name of that case is Abington versus Shem and Murray versus Curlin. There was a famous woman, an atheist, Madeline Murray, later Madeline Murray O'Hare, and she brought a similar case. It started the, uh, in the Maryland uh, courts and it wound its way up and became part of the, uh, it was a, appealed to the Supreme Court. At the same time, the Abington case had reached there, and so the two cases were joined. So there's actually only one decision for these two cases. Now, uh, our Shem family was a member of a Unitarian church. Outside of New England, hardly anybody knows about Unitarians, but it had the magic word church in it, right, in our traditions. And, uh, and we're, we're a pretty free-thinking uh, liberal bunch, but um, we did not get anywhere near the same kind of uh, hostile reaction that Madeline Murray did. Um, Madeline Murray's kids were beat up, her house was firebombed, the police department refused to respond, all sorts of horrible, horrible things. Uh, and it's not terribly different from what we hear going on here in, uh, in Cranston. And um, she had her uh, pluses and minuses, and, and she was, I have to say, brutally murdered. Her son, Garth, and her uh, stepdaughter um, were brutally murdered in 1996. I mean, it's a horrible thing. Um, and, but I knew Madeline Murray, and I had some respect for her. The reason that she um, attracted so much lightning was because she was an atheist. And I think not only because she was an atheist, but because she was a woman and an atheist. In our society, we so often think of women being the repositories of faith. And when a woman now um, takes a, an atheist or non-believer position, it brings down even more opprobrium than if some male were to have done the same thing. I think with what's happening in Rhode Island, this is very parallel to that.